Is there a mother who hasn't dreamt of singing her baby to sleep? I too pictured this beautiful moment upon the birth of my daughter two years ago. My name is Esti Ben Gigi. My daughter, Talia Chen, was born on a pleasant March evening, right after the Purim. She was a beautiful and angelic baby. However, in the neonatal ward, she did not pass her hearing test. Shortly after, we learned that Talia tested positive for congenital CMV, resulting in profound hearing loss. My dream of singing my baby to sleep was shattered. Instead, my heart was filled with fear and uncertainty to how my little baby would develop and if she would ever be able to learn to speak. This was the beginning of a rocky journey for my family. On our way, we met Dr. Michal Meir and Dr. Maurizio Cohen Weiser. These wonderful doctors, together with, with amazing head and neck nurses, accompanied us, reassured us, and gave us the most professional and sensitive care possible. When Talia Chen was 11 months old, she went through bilateral cochlear implant surgery performed by Dr. Cohen Weiser in order to restore her hearing. I must confess, I was skeptical. How could a man-made device restore a godly created sense? But when I heard my daughter standing right there, <laughs> when I heard her call out, Ima, mommy, for the first time, all skepticism dissolved. There's a blessing in Judaism upon meeting an outstandingly honorable and wise person, praising God for sharing his wisdom with humankind. For me, this blessing is about doctors who perform miracles. Professor Lloyd Minor is one of these doctors. His wisdom, his work, his achievements and breakthroughs in the fields of head and neck surgery initiated numerous miracles, just like my own. In the name of my young daughter, and our whole family who you've seen here. I would like to thank Professor Lloyd Minor. It's a true honor to stand on the stage and present to you the Rambam Award. Thank you for making miracles, and thank you for the so simple but so very meaningful gift of a lullaby well heard. Well, thank you so much. I'm truly honored um, for being here tonight, for joining such a distinguished group of recipients of the Rambam Award, those receiving the award tonight, and several very, very good friends and colleagues that have received the award in the past, such as Bill Brody, Betsy Nabel, Rich Pop, Sandy and Joan Weil. It was one of those former awardees who introduced Rafi Bayar and I, a couple of years ago, Bill Brody, uh, who was, had been president of Johns Hopkins and is a friend of both of ours. And Rafi and I met in August of 2018, and it was really clear that we should do something together between our two institutions. And I've also very much enjoyed uh, working with Mickey Halberthal, and my colleagues and I at Stanford are so excited about our budding collaborations between Rambam and Stanford. I'm also really pleased that in the, the very kind introduction, um, the word blessing was used because I think all of us in this room tonight, all of us at our two institutions are so incredibly blessed. We're blessed by our families and we're blessed to have professions that enable us to do things that are really impacting the world in great ways. You know, I, I can think of no better ways to impact humanity than by focusing on education and health. And those of us at academic medical centers do both of those, education and health, every day. And through the research we do, through our teaching, through the patient care we provide, we're making the lives of others better. We know we have a lot more to do to make them even better and also we're returning so much to humanity. And I don't think there's ever been a time in the world today when this was needed, uh, when it was needed for us to recognize what blessings we have that have been bestowed upon us and to return those blessings to the people that we work with and the broader world. 
I also want to express my appreciation to my wife, who's been at my side for 32 years. Uh, she couldn't be here today because she was representing the two of us uh, back in some events in the US. Uh, but she's with us here in spirit and, and my family as well that have brought uh, so much meaning uh, to my life. And to my colleagues at Stanford, who I have the privilege of working with every day, who constantly inspire me, inspire so many of us. I look forward to our continued collaboration uh, between our institutions and to what we can do at our institutions and collectively to make, a world, make the world a better place. Thank you very much. <laughs>